Beat up us in this can. We can lead men try. Making ducks from packs, but all, all the cards they use die. With the help of AI, we will try from new designs. Our dream regression, regression now online. Game's out, and we're back. We're back. Congratulations on the game release. Thank you. It's a it's a fun game, and most people like it. Except we, we made it too hard on accident. Oops. Eh, isn't that like true Toho spirit, though? You know, it kind of is. So I think I'm going to do things a little bit differently with the scenes. I'm going to go to the green zone for when the draft starts. We're going to okay. stay in the purple forest for now. I'm down with that. All right. Less work for me to uh, sit here and let you transition the scene. Yeah, you don't need to do it. You don't need to say a jingle this time. Yes. It's hard. Creative work is hard. This is why yeah. I have a video editor. I... I need one. I yeah. I well, I mean, I I mean, Shadow Ada does all of my editing, and that sucks because I have no awareness <laughs> of what's going on at those times. I I can't exist <laughs> as a separate person from Shadow Ada. Like Shadow Ada is a great editor and all, but it does mean that I have way less time to do stuff. I do all of the art for this show, <laughs> and I do art for a bunch of other stuff. Also, it it's it's hard, man. Yeah, I mean, you're a busy bee. I am impressed. You do you do, do a lot of work. I work a full-time job. I raid. Yeah. I enter tournaments. That's why I have Curry do it. I trust Curry's sense of humor. I'm just like, here's a video. Uh, make it funny. Subscribe to Rika Readman on YouTube and follow on Twitch. But don't subscribe on Twitch because even though you'll get the emotes, you'll also be giving money to Amazon. However, there's probably a donation page there somewhere and you can definitely do that. Donate to Rika Readman. Good streamer. I do have a coffee page if you're interested in that. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Speaking of which, I did just drink coffee this morning and I feel energized and amazing. Shout outs to Caffeine. Okay, that's that's great. Do you want to see a monster? Yeah. Uh, don't make me look in a mirror, though. Oh, I won't. Don't worry about that. I'm just going to hit this button and hit this button. Oh? What, why does this look like a Dragon Ball thing? Cheerful Artifice, an Earth spellcaster of the sixth level... <laughs> With 2050 attack and 1650 defense. I just want to say, if if I had a face like this card, I, I would be fine with that. Good face. To tribute summon this card face up, you can tribute a spell or trap you control instead of a monster. While this card's on the field or in the graveyard, you can declare a monster type. This card becomes that type until the end of the turn. If this tribute summoned card leaves the field, you can add a quick play spell from your deck to your hand. This is a neat card. Yeah. I can think of some neat things with the graveyard effect. Specifically, things like Miracle Synchro Fusion would be really funny with this card. You, they require a type. Got it. Figured it out. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Anyway, I like it. It's cool. It's cool, and she's got a lot of arms. She's got four arms going on here. Four? Yeah, she's oh, holding those faces. Are those are arms. She's holding faces with two arms. And one of the arms is just sort of, she's resting her head with it. And the other is just, it's just chilling. It's just on the side. Oh, I, you know, after zooming in on the picture, I understand. I like it. I love this. I love this art. As I zoom in, I appreciate it more. I promise I didn't see it at a distance very small and think, why is there a random thing on Namek? I like it. I steal it. Maybe. Okay. I mean, there's plenty to steal. You already know what both of the extra deck cards are this time. True. You underestimate my- Oh wait, no, yeah, you're right, I do. I remember this thing. Scarecrow Lightning Rod? Yeah. Oh my god, I love the Karibo still. We love it blazing <laughs> in to, to protect Karibo from a lightning bolt. Get behind me, Karibos. Can't believe Scarecrow Lightning Rod is the Yu-Gi-Oh himbo protecting lesbian Karibo. So it does protect stuff and also it does have the secret effect where you can basically just get rid of anything to get a level three on the field if you need to, to do a tuning play. It's such a cool and versatile card. It's neat. <laughs> it's neat. 
This actually might be one of my favorite extra deck cards that have come out of this whole format so far. Hey, do you want to draw a spell? Yeah, I love drawing spells. Uh, which one do you want me to draw? Oh, actually, I drew it. Oh, okay, okay. Mist Valley. Oh, it's Mist Valley. Mist Valley Knights. So it's a normal spell. You target two face-up monsters you control, return them to the hand, and draw that many cards. Wait, this is a good card. This is a plus one in a big way. This is cool. I like yeah. this. I like, I like that it doesn't specify is, anything. The only issue is that it can cause tempo problems, which is very <clears> serious. <throat> However, you know, Mist Valley wants the plus off of that. Plus, I mean, it's... It's generic enough. It doesn't require you to be running Mist Valley Thunderbird to immediately get stuff back out. It's just seems pretty good. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Fun fact, this card combos with Cheerful Artifice. Not only do you draw two draw a card off of returning to your hand, but then you get a quick play spell. That's a plus one, baby. That's true. Huh. Did not put those two together in my brain. <laughs> anyway, here's a trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm marveling at this art. Oh, I love the silhouette of the car being lifted by the photorealistic hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Vroom Vroom Balloon, a normal trap. Target a face-up monster, increase its level by 2, and its attack by 600. If this face-down card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, draw two cards. Well, it's in your spell and trap zone. Okay, this is a funny battle trap that also level modulates for tuning. And it just draws two cards if it's destroyed. If they try and destroy it and you activate it, you don't get to draw two cards. It will not be face-down. Yeah, which is good future-proofing, right? I love the hot air balloon saying Gobbo number one. Gobbo number one. Oh my god, I just saw that. <laughs> also, hold on. Uh, at also? this level, you can see that the, the at this level you can cringe. see that the license plate says CR1 NG3, but the other two license plates there do have writing on them. The one say? on the right says Fail Man, and the Goblin's car says Gob Epic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> oh my gob. Hold on. I just want you to know that face, the face this goblin's making, that's the face I make when you destroy this card and I go plus one for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this card. I hope you know this is the first card I'm taking and I'm going to take it and I'm going to just spam that face if you ever destroy it. That's fair. GPT-3 hit upon Vroom Vroom Balloon as a card name and it activated something in my brain. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was going to draw for it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here all day praising this card. Let's move to the next one. Okay, it's monster time. Monster time. Me when I'm about to open an energy drink. Alternatively, let's, just take a, <laughs> let's just take a moment right now and look back at all of the monster energy drinks that we've had. Those are good times, huh? Oh, hey, hopeless nostalgic. All right, so... Oh, this is such good art. I love this. It's like a city in the water reflected. I can only assume this person in the distance has a terrible power that destroyed the city. Sure. Okay, a level 3 Aqua, 1400 defense. If you don't control spell and trash when you normal summon it, you target a monster in your graveyard, special summon it, put a stagnation counter on all monsters you control, face up monsters you control. Return all monsters you control without a stagnation counter to the hand. Oh, this is a neat effect. This is really balanced, actually. So it brings back a monster, you would think, for a synchro summon play, right? But then the effect kind of like gets rid of the, anything new that you summon afterwards. Yeah. That's an interesting card design. I really like that. It also adds a lot to the flavor. They're looking back to a better time when they had that monster. Surely we can all relate to a time when we had better flavors of monsters in rotation. There's like so it. many I'm... better monsters that we've that we've had in times past. Like, yeah. if I just think to a few minutes ago, we saw the opening theme. And that had a great monster in it. Oh my god, this card is so sick. This is a great monster. 
Wicked Which... Flame Emperor Dragon Mode Laser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the obligatory big synchro monster of the set. We have them reasonably frequently, but not every time. Usually interspersed with more like utility stuff. I do be liking some utility. However, big boss monsters are always satisfying. Yeah. Oh, this one takes two non-tuners, so you can't synchro climb into it. Yeah. But it also has 3,500 attacks, so, you know, whatever. And it negates spells. Yeah, this is a good card. I think it's been proven that any extra deck monster that negates spells or traps once per turn is extremely strong. Yeah, it's strong. I mean, it's just it's strong. It, it's strong. <laughs> it is super strong. There's nothing really to say about it. I do think the monster effect effect is really funny. <laughs> like, what are you doing there? What am I going to target my monsters with? This is a good boss monster. A game-winning boss monster, I feel like. That's speaking my Speaking of games, speaking of winning games. Uh? Da, 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 da. Here we are again with Synchro World's favorite game. Can Rika Reedman engineer an ask that her foe can't twist? Or will her deck be stacked all wrong? It's time for... Alms! For an adversary! Is this a, oh my god. It's a game show. The it's guy from the, the favor from a faux guy got a new job. After his card oh. got banned, he got a new job. Oh, good for him. You know, we need gainful employment in this field. So on today's show, our adversary is going to search for... Wait, no. You're going to do it. You're going to search your deck for three cards with different names and reveal them. Then your opponent chooses one of them to add to your hand, one to place on top of your deck, and one to place on the bottom of your deck. Until you draw a card, you cannot move cards from your deck to anywhere else except by drawing them. This is great. This is a good utility card. And also, I'm so glad that the foe uh, got a new job, you know? Yeah. Especially in a lucrative field like entertainment. It's hard. You got such great competitors in that field, like the Goblin from Vroom Vroom Balloon. Yeah. And the Karibo from Scarecrow Lightning Rod. Yeah. Anyway, that's a great card. I do I do like the obligatory, like, utility uh, card draw slash hand control spell card. I love the I love the bit there. I was so confused. I'm like, huh? What? Well, that's all seven. Oh. That is all seven. I do like the set a lot. I think it's very difficult to choose which cards I don't want and which cards I do want. Yeah. I don't know but about you. You get to choose first because you won or you can pass it to me. I think there's a lot of good cards here. And a lot of these have good utility that I can think of a very many good plays with. However, I must stick to my meme. I must stick to my word. I'm picking Vroom Vroom Balloon as the first card. Honestly? And I'm... Honestly, I get that. Like, you said that, and I'm like, oh my god, that's actually smart. That's actually so smart. You know the Pavlov's dog thing? You ring a bell and the dog comes to get food? That's both of us with, you set one spell or trap face down, end your turn, the opponent will MST it in the end phase. Yeah. I think if that's the case, I... Would like to go with Wicked Flame Ember or Dragon Mode Laser. <laughs> <sighs> That's the boss monster. It's so cool! Well, the, the main card I had my eye on was the other extra deck monster, Scarecrow Lightning Rod. Yeah. I just, I just think it's good. I think it's a good utility card, so I'm taking that as my second. You know what? I'm gonna go with... I think I actually... Oh no, I don't know. I'm gonna go yeah. with Mist Valley Knights. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. That would have been my choice. But also just because I think that's a neat card. Uh, okay, Mist Valley Knights. So that's one spell down. So, so you know, I feel like you tend to gravitate towards the really, the really neat, interesting spell cards you make like this. I think it's my turn. I'm gonna grab Alms from an adversary as my last card. That's. My fate will be in your hands when I play this card. 
And it's absolutely going to backfire on me, I bet. Okay. Then I get hopeless, nostalgic, and cheerful artifice. Yeah. Well, that I am a little bit happy that I can potentially play the combo that you came up with. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe I'll put together a Mist Valley deck or something. I don't know. I'm suddenly reminded that when we opened the previous gold series, I literally didn't know that there were Mist Valleys in there because I only got a single soldier. <laughs> you mean the previous Hidden Arsenal? Hidden Arsenal, thank you. It was one of those sets. Uh, did you get all the good stuff from this Hidden Arsenal? Uh, eh. Eh. There were only 24 packs in it instead of 36. So. Yeah. You'll see. I'll keep it a surprise. Either. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. There's plenty of surprising things. This True. world's full of surprises. Was that a was that a lead in to something or just like an observation? <sighs> I guess uh... not knowing will have to be the real surprise. Oh, my God. But the only way to interrogate that is to take a look back at uh, what I was thinking at that time. To the looking back at Hopeless Nostalgic's art again. <laughs> and also ah. to the pulling card zone. Hello. I'm tired. We're getting it. And we're starting with Hidden Arsenal 2. This week we're doing Star Strike Blast and Hidden Arsenal 2. I don't know what's in Hidden Arsenal 2, except there's Fabled, apparently, which are one of my favorite archetypes, so I'm actually kind of super excited about them. I generally really love Fiend Monsters. Inferni and Infernoid are two of my favorite archetypes. Hey, Miss Valley card. Fabled are cool. I like Fabled and Dark World. Fabled have a cooler aesthetic, but Dark World, I think, historically is stronger. We're not going to get the good Dark World stuff for a long time, though. We are, however, getting a million worms and Gen X cards and Neutraria monsters. Neutraria monsters are actually really useful because I did pull two bamboo shoot. So like, I really wanted a better core to run bamboo shoot because I think bamboo shoot is a win condition. Hey, Kushano is a very, very important card to Fabled. We got a Neutraria beast. Okay, here's the Neutraria core right here. We got beast, we got two bamboo shoot. So there's a bunch of Fabled cards coming out. And I would be so interested in running that, but I don't think we have the super important Fable monsters like Grimrow and Cruz. And I missed out on my chance to get Ravens, so it's probably not happening. But however, we are getting a lot of Neutraria monsters, which I'll have to relook at all the Neutraria cards in the collection to see if we can make like a, a workable deck. But we do have two Neutraria beasts, so even without the Neutraria Core, still having Neutraria Beast, if we can summon it in any other deck, is a good thing. So Neutraria's as a theme, well, they're cute little nature animals, right? Got spiders and plants and rocks and bugs, but uh, they're very like anti-meta. Like they all have effects that trigger when your opponent special summons a monster or like activates a spell and trap or just has a monster on the field. I think they were meant to answer the like high power level that was happening in the game at this point, but they just never really did it. But in a limited format like this, you never know, they might have the time to shine. There's the cover card, Dulorin, Tiger King, the Ice Barrier. As far as I know, this card has only ever been good for infinite, <laughs> for infinite combos. Leo Drake, okay. Now all we need at this point is a Neutraria Barkeon and then we're golden. Please let this be Neutraria Barkeon. That's not Neutraria Barkeon at all. Okay. 24 Star Strike Blast, 24 Hidden Arsenal 2. Do you think we can have like a, anything good happen? Or are we going to have a repeat of last time? No, we're not going to have a repeat of last time. We're going to have a repeat of time. Already we got some fabled stuff. Okay, this is not the good one. This is not the good fabled secret rare. But, you know, it's, it's something. Jurat Giganoto, I did want at least one copy. of. I already got to do Lauren. If we can get a Nab Beast, that'd be great. We do get a Flamvel baby. I do like the little guy from Tuning Forge Spirit. I did sort of, I mean, I got the Fabled Secret Rare, so I kind of want to go for it. Nechoria Rock can special summon itself when you activate a trap card. This is just a good card outside of Nechoria. We got a third Galabas. Now if we can get some Grimrose, maybe that'll be worth something. 
We got a Grimro. Okay, never mind. Everything's fine. We also got a Worm Queen. This should be able to special stuff and face down defense. Honestly, hecked up, but can't. I don't know what Ally of Justice Cosmic Gateway does, and I'm not going to learn. I just a Shield Marshal. So I'm a becoming a little bit concerned that I'm not going to get into Cheria Beast. Babel Valkyries. You know, maybe everything's actually fine. You know what? Maybe not getting a Nat Beast isn't the worst thing in the world. I kind of didn't want to play it anyway. Oh, that's that's my fourth. Galabas. Apex Avian, kind of cool. I haven't been really paying attention to the commons. I hope that I've gotten more Fabled stuff from them. Fabled Lurie is actually kind of fun. Okay. Well, oh, well, oh, in the clothes we get that nappies. Okay, I think I think this wasn't so bad. Let's move to Star Strike Black. We get the introduction to Karakuri monsters. Karakuri monsters are... I don't know if we have the level 8 synchro, which like lets you draw a card when things switch position, but they're nice. They're cool. We also get Swift Scarecrow. Great card. Wonderful card. Wait, what the hell is Gravekeeper's Recruiter? What? If this card's sent to your graveyard, add a Gravekeeper with 1500 or less defense in your deck to your hand. I don't remember this card at all. Tuning is great. Ultimate rare. This is worth $90, apparently. So, uh, we're rich. This set also saw a bunch of, like, Jack Atlas and Pro Hogan, like, support. Like, you, so this is where you get some of the really niche Blackwing support. That's not good. And then you saw a red screen on the last on the last screen. We are getting a lot of Karakuri cards, which is nice. But I don't know what Mirror Ladybug does. If you control a face-up monster and no monsters in your graveyard, special summon it from your hand. Its level becomes equal to the total level of monsters you control. Oh, that's neat. Also, I want you to know I pulled a single tuning so far and have not pulled any other shinies. <laughs> We're also getting a bunch of Watt monsters. But I don't think Watts are very good. Hey, look, Formula Synchron. Okay, so this card was the first Synchro Tuner they made. And it's a really efficient card. Because you draw a card when you Synchro it, so like it replaces itself. It's worth running if you could ever make level 2, just because you can just sync them for no reason. Draw a card and then continue making your plays. Also, Vanity's Emptiness is broken. I am seeing so many repeats here. This feels like a tiny set. And there's so many Watt cards and Naturia cards that like... I feel like we're not getting much. Oh, Leo Drake's main turns any Neutraria monster into Leo Drake, which is a, a vanilla 3000 attack synchro monster. So like, I'm going to play it and it's going to beat over something and we're going to own. What the hell is Karakuri Clock? I've never seen this before. It's a mirror force for Karakuris. Later in the future, we're going to run a Karakuri deck and it's going to be so good if we pull the synchro. We got to pull the synchro. Only thing to do now is to load up Star Strike Blast and hope that our luck holds. It's very funny that Attack Gainer does not have the ability to gain attack. Why is this card called this? Who would do this? This makes things lose a thousand attack. Oh my god, glow up bulb! Glow up bulb and uh Okay. Okay? Okay, we yeah. Watt Dragonfly. Is this one with Watt Hopper? It's not, right? We don't get Watt Hopper till next time, right? Formula Synchron. Exterior Fang. Okay. We might we might run plants. Shooting Star Dragon. I can't play this, right? Yeah. Oops. Oopsie. Whoops. Requires Stardust Dragon. You're kidding me, dog! A second glow up bulb. They are saying, what is going on with this opening? Okay, that's a lot of ultras. Mercury Showdown Castle. There's a Leo Drake's main. I know that Rika doesn't have much spot monster removal at instant speed. This plus any other monster in your hand is just a 2200 guy. And you can level modulate with it. Hold on, Naturia has some really good support spells. Am I like crazy in thinking that? I'm not creative, but I've been wanting to run Naturias since two sessions ago when we pulled the double bamboo shoot. So I think this is the week. I think this is the time. None of these pulls have been really stellar. Okay, so this is a rare, which means this is a shiny card. Uh, 
A lot of these early Karakuris are not that interesting, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Aurora the Northern Lights is a cool Blackwing, though. It's a very cool Blackwing. We got a Del of the Dark Monarch. This is like the second Dark Monarch behind Caius, which is really funny because I think this one is blatantly worse. It's just a random card to have in the set, you know? There's our fourth Swift Scarecrow, so that when it gets super banned, at least I still have one at home. Okay, Vajrayana is an amazing Dragoonity card. Dragoonity Knight, Vajrayana with, I think it's Ducks. Either way, there's a level two tuner that Vajrayana can like bring back and you just synchro climb with that card alone. Heat Wave though, Heat Wave. At the start of your main phase one, neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters until your next draw phase. We summon a tree, a bamboo shoot, beat over something. They set a monster. Next turn, we just pop Heat Wave. We've got an evil deck idea in play. I hope Ada d does something messed up and evil to me because I'm gonna exactly the same to Void. Hey, we just got a glow up bulb. It goes to the graveyard, you mill the top card of your deck and you summon it for free. It's a level one tuner. It's so powerful. It, I almost wanna run it in nature area just because it's a plant, an earth plant. But uh, we're just getting some good support here. We're, we're filling out nature areas. Got a heat wave. If we pull one heat wave here, I'm happy. That's not heat wave, that's gravity collapse. Wait, what the, what, what, what was that? What was that, what was that? Gaia Drake, the universal force? No, I can't make that. However, these pulls are okay. This is like a build up set, right? I am happy to have a bunch of nature area monsters to fill out a deck list. I'm definitely going to make nature areas this week, I think. Something wicked is brewing. More Dark World Shackles. This is, this is spot removal. Nishipachi. We are getting enough of the Karakuri stuff, it seems. We did get the field spell earlier. Kara, Cardi Anatomy. This is the card that makes them pop off. We actually got a second showdown castle. Hmm. This is opening stuff up. Yeah, Karakuri is looking kind of good to me right now. If I can get Bude or their Mirror Force, that'll be pretty. I don't. I don't really need a second Shooting Star Dragon, but I won't say no to it. Well, I, I mean, I pretty much feel like I've won so far. So, oh, so we got an Inashichi. Just a nice searcher. Did notice that trick, Kess. Oh, we are getting actually a lot of Karakuri stuff. Hmm. Okay. I did, in fact, get three Nacheria Rock. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Just the two Gub, right? I think I'm pretty set on plants. What an incredible opening. Hello, 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 hello. This is totally not a post-dual deck profile recording that I'm redoing because my microphone issues were causing problems for Ada. Anyway, yo, this is my deck for this week. It's Naturia. I pulled two Naturia Beast, right? And I wanted to use them. So nothing but earth monsters. We got plenty of tuners here. I combined some of the beast core here. So you'll see the custom card, Wayfinder Mole, along with the Salt Beast, because that combo is just a one card level five synchro, which we got a really good level five synchro now. Key Mouse searches out Wayfinder Mole. Giant Rat searches out Key Mouse. We have one Polymerization, just in case we can summon Hatsune Miku at Card Games Academy. Uh, the rest of it is just Naturia Monsters. The main goal here is not necessarily to do anything with the Naturia. They are just to be bodies. There's some high attackers and high defenders here just to stay in the field. Cosmo Beat is an extra summon. Banes is just a tuner. Ant Jaw summons something. Mosquito Lock happens. Pumpkin is a body. The main goal is to get a Bamboo Shoot on the field because this is a win condition in and of itself. You summon Bamboo Shoot with plenty back row protection. Your opponent's not playing out of it. There's a few tech cards in here, such as Heat Wave to go with the stun nature of Naturia. No pun intended. We have Leo Drake's Main in case we had to beat over something. We have Spiritual Forest, which is one of my favorite tech cards. It just, it makes Beast, it makes Bamboo Shoot, just once per turn, they can't be destroyed by battle. And with the opponent being unable to use spell cards, it's probably really hard to beat over them in the first place. We got three Solemns, 
A warning. We have some battle traps in power frame and room room balloon. Graceful arrival to help with synchro plays or bamboo shoot fodder. Compulse for control, consumption for control. It's not a bad main deck, right? Side deck is whatever. It doesn't matter. The extra deck. Just your basic synchro mishmash. We did get Beast and Leo Drake as new toys here. As well as this is a deck that actually can summon Relinquished Consone. So I don't have really much else to say. It's a simple deck. Summon Beast, summon Bamboo Shoot, win the game. Hopefully, I surely, surely will succeed. I did everything in my power to spread your word, Horsey Tail. I made you a meme. Why? Because I had faith in you. In the world outside, everything's looking bleak. The beasts are at the gate, and green baboons lurk around every corner. So, once again, I turn to you. You and your beans. I don't know, I don't have a lot to say about this one. It's plants again. This time with Naturia stuff. All our tuners can special summon either themselves or other stuff. And tons of other stuff too, like rock and our two power giants. So we got synchro plays for days and we maybe even be able to summon our three material people. Or we can summon two material, Splendid Rose, which can beat over a solidarity green baboon just by banishing a plant. And every spell trap we have is incredibly impactful, with two different kinds of stealing cards, two revives, two mirror forces, and Leo Drake's main as a fun of. Yep, as a fun of. Definitely not because I only happened to open one of a common card. Now in the extra, we have the normal stuff, but we also have Naturia Beast, which we can make, and Wicked Flame Emperor Dragon Mode Laser, which, well, with all our stuff, it's possible. And in the side, we have a horsey tail for good luck. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good. I posted the link to the Suicide Squad Isekai, and someone in a Discord replied to me with, to the Joker, this is just a uh, Sakai. <laughs> all right, Ada. All right, Ada. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? <sighs> I mean, I don't... I don't know what you want. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're supposed to pick all of them. I thought you would go back to Rook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going first, I guess. All right. Ooh, wait. This works? Kind of? Maybe? You know what? Main phase one. All right, Ada, we're starting out strong. Are you ready? No. All right, me neither. I'm just going to set a monster to end my turn then. Oh, that is actually pretty strong, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, why are you looking Sorry. at your extra to turn one? Sorry, I... I was you... so... I was so confused. I was so... I intended to do something when you set a card, and I... I just... Oh, wait, okay, go ahead. We'll, we'll go back in time. All right, I set a monster. Yeah. I'm gonna special summon Naturia Cosmo Beat. Oh my god. All right, then uh, nothing changes. Everything is the same. One of the cards that's not in my extra deck should be in my extra deck. Can I can I just tell you if when I summon something that uh, it's actually a different thing? Is that cool? It's, it's sure. the same. Okay. Okay. Great. Proxy system. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna proxy a copy of a splendid rose over a, one of the a Brianac dragons of the ice <coughs> barrier. Eh. I I don't know if you know what card I'm talking about. Splendid rose. Yeah, because or... I've never summoned it against you. Oh, I know what it is. One of my friends, when I was growing up, really liked this card. And I just knew it as the Sailor Moon looking twink. <laughs> but as I get older, up. now it looks like an Utena character. I don't know how this happened. I, it would definitely there in my deck profile. Um, I guess I did not save it. I am noticing that I only have 13 cards in my extra deck. That's extremely funny. Well, what did they say? Something about... VTuber collaborations and scuff. They say that all the time. So anyway, I am going to special summon Power Giant by sending Glow Up Bulb to the graveyard. Oh my goodness. Uh, in, in battle, 
I'm attacking. All right. It's a key mouse again. So this goes to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. I activate the effect. Yeah. I'm going to add a Wayfinder mold to my hand. Okay. Mean to. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Glow up bulb is also. Oh, hey, it's that guy. It's this guy. This is so funny. So let's say theoretically, I have a glow up bulb with my deck. Is it just instantly super banned if I try to play it now? What? Because like we have banned cards are like just automatically limited, right? Like in real life banned cards. Oh shit, I forgot. Sorry, I, I have I have more than one glow up bulb in my deck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I only pulled one, so I have the one in my deck. And I'm just like, well, this is going to get banned immediately because it's after, actually banned in real life. After, but... after my pulls, I kept going. I was like, okay, how long is it going to take me to get this other specific card that I was kind of sad that I didn't get? The next pack I opened was a third glow up bulb. <laughs> you summoned Splendid Rose, right? Yeah, I do. It took me a bit to remember that I, it's not in there. That this is super, Don't worry about it. This is Splendid Rose. For real. For real. I mean, you could also technically summon a token, but... So 2200 attack plant, wind plant. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna set uh, our scales and <laughs> end. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna activate spiritual forest. And Which then- is destroyed by battle each turn. Yes, I'm gonna set this card. So I'm gonna activate the effect of this thingy, Wayfinder Mole. Yeah. So he goes to the graveyard. You know, it's the same thing as last time. I'm going to get a Salt Beast, which is not a Salt Beast. Normal summon it. Yeah. A target my Wayfinder Mole. Yeah. It goes to defense. Summoned. Yeah. And now I'm going to oh, Synchro shit, them. A tuner. I'll summon Naturia Beast in attack mode. Huh. That's really something, huh? It is really something. So I'll enter my battle phase. Yeah. I will attack... The 2200 attack Splendid Rose. That's cool. It's a plant, though. Mirror Force? Oh, yeah. This doesn't protect you from card effects, huh? That's a plant! I forgot that Wall of Thorns is a card! This sucks. All right. Main phase two, then. Yeah. I'm going to set one and end my turn. Cool. After this game, I have to tell you, the turn one play, I completely screwed up. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to normal summon Naturia Guardian. Guardian, okay. Yeah, Sorry. I'll take 1600. Yep, and a thousand. And a thousand. And 2200. And 2200. Yeah, 2200. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh my god, I don't think I have a way out of this. That's okay. Math. I would never do math. Uh, I set a monster and set a card okay. and end my turn. Okay, cool. Man, I'm so glad that, like, I don't need to worry about Torrential Tribute because it's banned. Yeah. I miss Torrential Tribute right now. So, I'm gonna sync these for <laughs> Reenact Dragon of the Ice Fairy. <laughs> I will pay half my life points to Solemn Judgment it. That's fair. Battle phase. Attack? Uh huh. It's Naturia Vein. Because of Spiritual Forest, it's not destroyed by the first battle. I didn't know that this was a card. Vein? No, Spiritual Forest. I knew that Naturia Vein was a card. Oh, Spiritual Forest is a good card. In this format. Well, I'll set a card and end my turn, I guess. Alright. I'll sacrifice Naturia Vein to normal summon Naturia Bamboo Shoot. That's a... Uh... If that passes, that's the extent of my turn. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, that works. All right, I uh, end my turn. Battle phase. Uh-huh. Attack. Yeah, I'll take 200 damage. Okay. And because it's the plant, it's not destroyed by battle. That appears to be the case. It do be the case. Okay. 
you want to learn how to do it? Look at that Oh, compulsory evacuation device, splendid rose. That is absolutely not Brian Act Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Okay. I end my turn. Yeah. Okay. I'll just set this. I'll enter my battle and I'll attack for 2,000. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Go. All right. Set another card. Attack for 2,000 again. Okay. That's the end of my turn. I don't believe it. Is it nothing but spells and traps? My deck has 25 monsters in it. Huh. Okay. I set a monster. And I <laughs> end my turn. Okay. Enter my battle phase and I'll attack that monster. It's Rose. Okay, main phase two. I'll set a monster, and that's the end of my turn. I set a monster, and I end my turn. I'll flip summon a tray of vein. Tribute yeah. to summon another bamboo shoot. Okay. Graceful arrival to bring back nature of vein. Okay. I'll synchro these two together. Brianak. Okay, I lose. Yep. Da 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 da, and then attack. Where's the reveal my hand button? Oh. I can't express a... enough how dead you ought to be. <laughs> That's a lot of spells of traps. Every single one of them wins the game if I can activate it. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm going first. First. Oh, no. I'm gonna normal summon Nacharya Rock and uh -huh. end my turn. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna do something just for the gimmick. Yeah? I'll normal summon Glow Up Bulb. Yeah? Now, since this was limited and yeah. you used it, now it's super banned, yeah? I guess it is. It's super banned. All right. Uh, Partridge of Prosperity. So I excavate the top five cards in my deck. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh. Oh, thank God I, you're putting that shit on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, wait, both of them? Oh, my God. All right. Well, thank these go to the bottom. The, thank the, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Thank, thank the God from Solemn Judgment. Oh Thank my the god. god from Solemn Judgment. Uh, I'm setting two cards and I'm passing my turn. Alright. Uh, that's unfortunate. Not only in one turn did I get something super banned, but then I put both of my win conditions on the bottom of my deck. Alright, well, I'm going to activate Unassuming Power on uh -huh. Nachuria Rock. Alright, so that's a 2200 rock. Mm-hmm. But also, you know, once per chain, when a trap card is activated, I can send the top card of my deck to the graveyard. So special another. summon, Nachuria Rock. Normal summon, Twilight Rose Knight. All right. And special summon, Glow Up Bulb. Hello, Glow Up Bulb. Are we okay? Yeah, I got nothing in response to any of that. Okay. In that case, Brianak? In response to that summon, I'll activate Consumption. So it's effects negated goes to defense mode at the end of the turn it is destroyed that makes sense wicked flame emperor dragon mode laser uh, oh yeah this is a thing okay okay battle phase yeah i'll take 3500 yeah and turn okay oh hmm i'm so stupid hmm Oh my god. I could have very easily won that game. Splendid Rose has an effect. And I just Wait, forgot did... it. I thought you knew I thought you just intentionally didn't use it last game. I could have banished all I could have reduced its attack. I could have I could have attacked over it. Uh... I didn't though. Oh, at the bamboo shoot? Yeah, I could have attacked over the bamboo shoot. I could have double attacked over it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even read the first part of the effect. What yeah, that's pretty good actually. You could have done that! 
I wasn't looking at the effect. I was looking at Brianna X effect. This is a recurring theme I'm noticing. I think this one's a little bit more understandable, though. Like, I did not have the text it ready because of that one, doing this one's book more jokes. Understandable. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to mind control your face down. Uh-huh. Oh, it's Nishuria Vane. It is. That's neat. That's neat. That's really cool. This doesn't help me. <laughs> well, you know what? Hmm. I'll miracle fertilizer. Uh-huh. And I'll special summon Nichuria beans. Let me beans be beans, all right? A flip summon Nichuria vein. Battle phase. Uh-huh. Attack? Yeah, I'll take 200. A attack? Hey, wait. Yeah, I'll take 3,500. Cool. I don't know how you get out of this one, but it cures this thing back. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's just try something. I'll activate alms from an adversary. Does okay. This pass. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I search my deck for three cards. Any three cards. God, I love the I love what's going on with this thing's face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's search creature swap, mosquito. Also, wait. So, are we playing with glow up bolt being limited to one to begin with, or no? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Okay. So, like, you know, it's fair. It's fair. I had an extra glow up bulb in my deck. I lost that game. That's actually fair. That's that's <laughs> that's fair. I was just wondering about the play this turn or last turn. With a global with Twilight Rose Knight, but I was like, eh. Oh, wait. Yeah. <clears throat> I get. I don't know. I don't know. I, I forgot. Accepted game state. It's. I can't use the graveyard effect of it, though. Accepted game state. Okay. Compulsory, Mosquito, and Creature Swap. Choose one to add to my hand. Yeah, you can have Creature Swap, I guess. Okay. Mosquito goes on top. So it's top deck and Compulsory goes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have enough resources now to brute force my way out of this. I'll flip my face down Mystical Space Typhoon to target Miracle Fertilizer. Okay. Doesn't it destroy beans? It does not! <laughs> oh. Oh <laughs> no! I don't have a way out of this anymore. You uh, you can't actually beat over this. Once per turn, this card just cannot be destroyed by battle. You do not have the life points to attack it twice. All right, I'm activating creature swap. I think I'll... Oh, God, it would be so fucking funny if I just gave you Wicked Flame Emperor Dragon Mode Laser here. Because <laughs> I, I don't see how that helps you, but just in case, I'll negate it. And inflict 800 damage to you. Um, I can't I'll believe it. Another creature swap. Now that's very amusing. Please give me a monster. I'm setting a card and it's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> I Great. misread Miracle Fertilizer. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, it takes your normal summon to use it. That's what's weird about it. That makes sense. And here I thought I was so clever. Uh, you are. I guess I'll put this to defense and end my turn. All right. So this is where it gets really funny because we're playing the mirror match. Yeah. I'll normal summon Naturia Mosquito. And then I'll switch beans to attack mode. Mm-hmm. I'll enter my battle phase, and I'll attack dragon person. And I'll take 3,400. That's the end of my turn. Okay. I'm gonna normal summon Plague Sparter Zombie. Uh-huh. I'm gonna set the Churi at Vayne to attack. Uh-huh. Battle phase. Uh-huh. I attack the Churi of Vayne with this, and I take 600 damage. I'll activate Vroom Vroom Balloon targeting beans. I'll negate. All right. Please take 600 damage. I'll take 600 damage. I attack with Blake's Burner Zombie. So not only do you take 800 damage, beans is destroyed. I take 800 damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm freaking dead. Okay. 
Ah. Okay. This has been a, a game with a lot of legal plays. A lot of legal plays. All right, now I'm okay, going to remember to side Now I have to take bulb. the glow up bulbs out. <laughs> I'm going first this time. Okay. Ah. All right. All right. Yeah. I'll activate Wayfinder Mole to start things off. Okay. So, you know what happens. I do. I add Assault Beast. A normal summon Assault Beast. Mm hmm. I'm just going to skip these steps. Naturia Beast. Yeah. Partridge of Prosperity. I will add to my hand. Can't believe you're playing Heat Wave. <laughs> it's a good so, card. It's so fucked up. <laughs> I'll add Spiritual Forest to my hand. The rest go on the bottom. So, Spiritual Forest gets played. Set a card, and that's the end of my turn. Yeah. 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 I'll normal summon Cactus Fighter. All right. That's a Cactus Fighter. Yeah, it is. And I'll set one scale. Set two scale. And I won't set two scale. End my turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me think. I don't want you to. You don't want me to think? It's really inconvenient. It's causing me lots of problems. I'm sorry. I'll activate Mystical Space Typhoon on this card. I will Compulsory Evacuation Device, your Naturia Beast. All right. Well, this is really funny. I'll Normal Summon Naturia Spider Fang. I'll flip Graceful Revival to bring back Wayfinder Mole. I'll summon the Chariot Beast in attack mode. Got it. Right. I'm gonna enter my battle. I'll attack this guy. Main phase two, I'm setting this and passing my turn. I'll take 300 damage. Yeah. All right, I'm out of resources. If you kill this beast, you're in good shape. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Oh, 2,200. I'll take 2,200. Wouldn't be and, fucked up if you had Gores And hand. also... It kind of would be a little fucked up if I had Gores in my hand. Uh, and my turn. Sheep. This sucks for me. I'm sure that it's fine. Battle phase? Yeah. Four 500 in. damage. Spiritual Forest prevents it from dying the first time. Okay. Not the second time. Okay. I unfortunately must... Sorry, I meant to, I meant to this. This is, this is face down and I'm ending my turn. Okay. Monster? I don't think Grave Soul Revival should be on the field. Oh, hey, cool. This isn't like Call of the Haunted. I'm setting a card and ending my turn. Okay. Finally. I'm gonna normal summon Gigantic Cephalotus. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna normal summon Gigantic Cephalotus. I'll pay 2,000 life points to negate it with Solemn Warning. Yes, I'm not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do it. Listen, I'm hanging on a thread here, Ada. I will 2,700 in. Yeah, I'll take 2,700 out. Like an ATM. Yeah, I'll end my turn. All right, the worst case scenario here is I draw a bamboo shoot. That's also bad. But well, whatever. I'll set a card. That's the end of my turn. End phase and MSD? The one you just set? Yeah, that's fair. It was a normal spell, though. Get baited, nerd. No, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, I was also, I was kind of expecting Vroom Vroom Balloon, but... That would have been so sick. Yeah, I am going to normal summon Pumpkin. Yeah. That's fair. That's understandable. That's reasonable. Okay. I do not get to summon an Asheria because you don't have a monster. I don't. I'll take 1,400. I will go in. I'm dead. Hey. All right. Well, hey. <laughs> uh, I will let uh, you know, I did have a tech in case you wanted to keep running jokes. What was the tech? I'll just show you my hand. 
That's a fragrant. That's a fragrant storm. This is a fragrant storm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just needed to draw a monster. Please tell oh, me that would have been really good. Uh, I did have pumpkin up. I was going to set my wall of thorns and frequent stabbings this turn. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, then the wall of thorns would have killed Gores. And then uh, I very well could have summoned Hatsune Miku at Card Games Academy this game, but I did not draw polymerization. Mm, I totally, yeah, that, that would work, actually. It would not even be difficult to do. Uh, hey. Huh. My deck fucking whips. <laughs> My deck this time was whips. so strong. I should have known you would have gone for the plant Naturias. I had three Naturia rocks. That's the only non-plant Naturia I had because I thought that there would be enough traps being activated. The, huh, I guess I can't do that. I wasn't able to summon rock in response to Solemn Morning as I wanted to do because oh, uh, it's a counter trap. trap. So lots of legal plays this game. Uh, I should not have had two glow up bulbs, but it I lost the first game and in the second game, it did not matter. Well, it, it did, games. but except at game state. You know what? I'll trade it. <laughs> Man, Wayfinder Mole Assault Beast combo is super nice now that Naturia Beast is in the game. God, you actually did some crazy stuff with Naturia's and stuff. Like, they're cool. It's really good. Uh, so? I did get Naturia Beast. Ooh. I did have many opportunities. Like, there are many ways to summon it. I did not get them. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm kind of surprised. Well, I don't know. You don't have any level one tuners in there, do you? Except for the glow bulb? Uh, no. Well, I, that's... I have level three stuff all over. Yeah, that's fair. It's hard. When I I had the idea to make this, and then I looked at all the stuff, and I'm like, we haven't got, like, half of the Naturia support still, have we? Uh, I thought this was the last... I, th I, thought, I, thought, I thought this was the best time to do it. Those are fun games. They were. Well, I want to play again, honestly. <laughs> Okay, right. Next time we have Hidden Arsenal 3 and Storm of Ragnarok. What's Storm of Ragnarok got? It's got the next set of Kartakuri stuff. It's got six samurai support, interestingly. Oh yeah, we get my most favorite synchro monster in the world. She and I I hate that card so much. Yeah, but you actually have six Sam stuff, so you may be yeah. able to make something happen. I hope I pull it and make your life miserable. So we got Nordic Beasts, which are cool. Far. They're all high rarity. We're not actually going to be getting those. <laughs> In Arsenal okay. 3, though, it does have... It has Naturia Tulip and Dragonfly and Tulip. Sunflower. More importantly, Ada, we get Fabled Cruce in this set. Yeah. I may be able to do Fabled stuff. I We also get Naturia Barkyan. Yeah, but I mean, there's no way that you'll set up getting both Barkyan and Beast together, right? You, you wouldn't do that. Surely, surely I would not dedicate a whole day to labbing out consistent ways to get them both out. No, never. I'm going to be real with you. There wasn't any point where it made sense to talk about the preview card. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to pretend that it's in there. I'm just going to paste this to you real quick. Okay. Speedy Sports Star. What the heck? Why is Hoshining and Ballin? <laughs> Ocean Ingen will never ball in. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Light level 2 fairy, 1200 attack damage. At the beginning of the duel, you could reveal this monster in your opening hand and keep it revealed as long as it remains in your hand. During your battle phase, when this card is in your hand, is revealed by its own effect. While this card in your hand is revealed by its own effect, you can special summon it, but it must immediately declare an attack. <laughs> Holy, I love this already. This card can attack directly. When it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, target one spell trap your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card with those effects on the chain. This is... This is... You can't stop it from dunking on you. This is so funny. I love this card. Holy... Listen, listen, listen. You see that they are on your opponent's team roster at the, at the start? You're looking at it? You're like, shit, dude, I can't stop that guy from dunking on me. 
<laughs> I just see it in the opening hand. I'm not going to set this card here. He's going to dunk on it. I love this guy. Holy. He's the he's the real MVP, Ada. He's the real yes, MVP. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, I'm glad Ho Chi Ningen got a contract with the Phoenix Suns and is just going to dunk on them all. Yeah. So, this is a good episode, but we do have to thank the sponsor. Yeah, thanks to the sponsor. Yeah, thanks to our sponsor, Horsey Tail. Have fun not having sex, everybody. Oh my god. Also, thanks to me. Hey, this episode came out on time, exactly when I said it would. That's great. Who saw that coming? So, originally, I was going to make a joke here about a percent of you not being subscribed, but I'll be real. I don't look at metrics. I use some specific filters in uBlock Origin to remove them wherever I can. I don't know how many subscribers I have, and I don't know how many followers I have on Twitch. Paying attention to metrics is, to me, more anxiety than it's worth. Comment down below if you also get anxiety. Okay, bye!